When it comes to measuring the voltage constant of, of a brushless outrunner motor, once again there are complications because you think that you can just apply a voltage and measure the RPM and then do the division and get the voltage constant, but you can't do that because the motors have internal losses which are related to the, to the RM and I0, which we, we measured before. So you can't just take a, a straightforward measurement. Now I think the easiest way to do it is by measuring, taking an RPM measurement when you're measuring the no load current. And the way I do that is because, you know, of course, if it's a no load current, that means you can't have a propeller on there. But I use my Eagle 3 um, to, to measure that. And, you know, so, so I'm taking an electronic reading on the RPM, which is very safe. Now, I've heard some people paint the motor with alternating colors and use a strobe light. And I don't know anything about that, so don't ask me about that method. But the Eagle 3 works really well. Uh, I'm not going to describe the formula, but the formula has uh, at a given RPM, you take a voltage and a current. So those are the three inputs. And, and uh, you also need to have the no load current and the, the motor internal resistance. So you still need to measure that separately, like I, like, like I explained before. But if you take all of those inputs, you'll get a value for the KV, which is the voltage constant. And you, know, you might argue, okay, well, that's not the most accurate way to do it. I think for most of us, it'll, it'll be good enough. And you know, this is very safe, very easy. I, I suppose if you really have to, you can take a, put a small propeller on here and, and then take all the readings. You know, you still, of course, the, you know, the I zero will be separate because now there will be a load. Uh, that'll be okay. I, I don't really recommend that, but I guess that's an alternative way of doing this. And until uh, next time.